Hello music theory students, Mr. Lefebvre here talking today about counting note rhythms in four. In the previous video about time signatures, it was noted that the top number tells us how many beats will be in a measure. When counting a measure, we will use all numbers from one to that number, no more and no less. Also note that the first number written in any measure will always be one. We'll start with the quarter note, as it receives one beat. When counting, we will give each quarter note one full beat. A measure of 4-4 four, four with quarter notes would be counted 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, the half note. Half notes receive two beats. To note this, we will write the first beat and draw a line. Sound will continue, but we will not hear a new start to the beat, so we put the second beat on the line. A measure of 4-4 four, four with half notes would be counted with a 1 and a line with a 2 on it, and three and a line with a four on it. Whole notes work similarly, however, they receive four beats. Just like with half notes, we will write the first beat and draw a line. Sound will continue, but we won't hear any new starts to notes for four beats, so we write the rest of the beats on the line. A whole note in 4-4 four, four would be written with a one and a line with the two, three, and four on it. Finally, eighth notes, which receive half of a beat. When dividing a beat in half, we say the word and. This and is signified by a simple and symbol, which also looks like a plus. The and of the beat is always the second half of the beat. A measure of eighth notes in 4-4 four, four would be counted as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Let's do an example of adding counting to an exercise. Here we have four measures of 4-4 four, four time. The first beat of any measure must be one. Since it is a quarter note, we are done. The second note is also a quarter note, and we put a two. The next note is a half note, so we put a three and a line. Half notes receive two beats, so we put four on the line. We are done with the first measure. The next measure begins with a half note, so we write one and a line and put two on that line. Another half note is next, so we write three and a line, putting four on the line. The third measure is entirely a whole note, so we put one and a line with two, three, and four on the line. The last measure begins with four eighth notes. The first thing we write in the measure is a one. The second half of that beat is signified with an and. Same with the second beat. We write two and. The final quarter notes each receive one beat, so they get three and four, respectively. We can work the other way as well, starting with the counts and filling in the notes. Here we see four measures of counting, and we will insert the notes. The first measure is a one with a line containing beats two, three, and four. This must be a whole note. The next measure starts with a one and a line, but this time only has a two on the line. Half notes get two beats, so the measure must start with a half note. Next beats three and four are by themselves. These must be quarter notes. For measure three, we again start with a beat one, but it is followed by an and symbol this time. This must mean we have two eighth notes. A number by itself signals another quarter note. Next is three and, which is another two eighth notes, followed again by a quarter note signaled by the number four. We end with a 1 with a 2 on a line, and a 3 with a 4 on a line, showing us we need two half notes. To review, quarter notes get one beat, and are written as individual numbers. Half notes get two beats, and are written with the first beat, a line, and the second beat on the line. Whole notes get four beats, and are written as the first beat, a line, and the second, third, and fourth beats on the line. And eighth notes get half of a beat, with the first eighth note being written on the beat and the second half being written as an and. Thanks for watching.